This is Heart Path Wellness Kitchen Witchery with Sarah, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really easy almond milk. What you're going to need is some almonds, which you have soaked for two hours. You'll need some lovely water and some salt. You're also going to need a bowl with a fine mesh strainer and a thin dish towel or cheesecloth or you can use a nut milk bag if you're super fancy. And the last thing that you'll need is a blender. So since your nuts are already soaked, let's go ahead and give them a good rinse. Pour them through your strainer. And make sure that when you're rinsing them, the water that runs through them is clear before you finish. And there we have it. So what we're gonna do now is just throw everything in the blender. Now, I didn't give you a measurement for the almonds because it doesn't really matter. It just depends on how much milk you wanna make. The rule of thumb is for however many nuts there are in here, you wanna give three times as much water. So this is about two cups of almonds and I'm going to put in six cups of water. So I've got four here. Grab another two. While we're waiting for that, put the salt in. And I'm just gonna put a dash because it's really just to um, bring out the natural flavor of the almonds. Here's another two cups of water. Then, Make sure you put the lid on this baby. Go ahead and it up. You wanna make sure everything is completely smooth in here. and there are no huge chunks. There is gonna be some sediment, and that is why we have our strainer. So, take our strainer and our thin dishcloth, lay it over like so, and pour this through. Now, you're gonna to have to squeeze it out also which is why we want something that is not going to tear as our, uh, as our strainer here. So once you get to the point where you shouldn't pour any more in before you squeeze it out, then you're gonna pick up all the corners of the towel and wring it out. You know, they say the worst part about being vegan is getting up to milk the almonds in the morning. I mean, I'd rather milk an almond than a cow. <laughs> I don't have to go outside in the cold for this. And then what you're gonna have left in here is this pulp and you can save that and use it to make um, other stuff with in your dehydrator and maybe I'll I'll make another video to show you what cool stuff you can make with it So you're just go, gonna go ahead and strain all this out Repeat like we have done the first time until we are done
go ahead and give this a try. That's delightful.